1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want. And I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Samstown Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Good afternoon and roll tribe, everyone, as we're getting set for the regular season finale of soccer here, sophomore day in Fulton, as we rec recognized our women's soccer players before the game. We'll have that coming to your way at halftime, but right now we've got a big match here. Put it pretty simple. You win, you're in, you lose, you're out. As ICC and East Central getting set to do battle here this afternoon on a chilly afternoon, not as cold as it was the other day, but a chilly afternoon here in Fulton. The First American National Bank opening kick Belongs to ICC, and they're going to send this one down the pitch, and it will reset here. For those of you watching, ICC in their home white kits, blue shorts, and East Central in their combo gold and black, that old school gold. I like that. You don't see very many true golds like that anymore in athletics. They've got the white numerals, so both teams. Uh, kind of becoming a running joke amongst other SIDs is <laughs> how I kind of judge some of the uh, numbers. And both teams wearing very large numbers on the front and back of their shirts. So we're off here this afternoon. This game originally scheduled for Tuesday, but Mother Nature, well, she had other plans. And it's going to make a sloppy track this afternoon in Fulton. Let's take a look at today's Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works starting lineups for ICC and it's going to be pretty much the usual suspects here for ICC in net is going to be Vanula Huckabee will be wearing number one Johnson two Logan four Beckenstein back in the lineup here after missing a few matches uh, due to injury she will be wearing number six Madison Copeland number 11 number 12 will be Thompson Earwood wearing 15 19 will be Williams Mathis at number 20, and Pelsky will be wearing number 21 this afternoon. That is your Tupelo Coca-Cola bottling lineup, bottling work starting lineups, ICC and Coke. Now that's a winning combination. So a battle for it here on the far side of the pitch. 
as East Central will keep possession here. Adam Gore, Raphael Henry, Lee Adams bringing this action today. Raphael up top running camera. ICC taking, or excuse me, Lee taking photos on iccimages.com. That's iccimages.com. Digital downloads available for $1. Okay, relax. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Good good Breezy afternoon. One another, another one of those days where seating in the sun will be a premium. Not so much in the shade like we see most of the season. KB, drop in for us. KB, drop in. Keep coming inside. Inside. As Renua punts this one away, 50-50 ball. Sent ahead and he's central. We'll hold on to this one. Now we say you win, you're in. Now, of course, there's some scenarios with ties or draws and things like that, but for both these coaches, that's pretty much what they're told their teams today. You win, you secure your spot in the playoffs. There's a scramble for it and a hard landing by both players as it goes out of bounds. And the referee will allow him to continue to play. And it'll be a goal kick coming up here for East Central. Central, ha or excuse me, ICC has it. Oh, just a tough break there as that one took a bad, unfortunate hop from Thompson. Thompson could have squared that one up and we could have had an early goal in this one. But instead, East Central dodges a big time bullet there. Copeland controls the 50 50 ball. Now it's sent back towards midfield. ICC with it working left to right on your computer screen. We do want to thank those that are tuning in here, part of the ICC family, but also want to extend a special hello out there to those that are supporting East Central. Indians push this one back towards midfield, now sending it on the cross to Peltsky. Peltsky trying to dribble through traffic, does so, now squeezes this one ahead. Oh, good idea, just unfortunate. Couldn't quite get the proper angle as she was looking for Huckabee ahead that time and easily cleaned up there by the Warriors. And this one's gonna go out of bounds right here below us in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth. Do wanna remind you that if you would like to help support ICC, you can do so by joining, being through the foundation. Just visit iccms.edu slash foundation. That's iccms.edu slash foundation. Now he's central. Turns it over, ICC gets it back. Logan trying to go on the attack, and it's going to be out of bounds. And ICC will have the throw in here on the near side of the field. Huckabee will throw this one in. Ball bouncing around, Huckabee had it for a second. East Central clears it out and lets it go out of bounds. And ICC will have the throw in once again. Trying to find Logan that time and neither player was ready for it as it was thrown in. And Logan was thinking it might have went to somebody behind her, but instead goes out of bounds. And it'll be a goal kick coming up here for the Warriors. Get it again off the turnover. Now they squeeze this one ahead, looking for Huckabee. Looking for the quick touch across, but not there. Now Logan had it, sends it forward, deflected away by East Central. Now East Central has a chance to get out here in transition, but ICC does a great job of getting back. Good hustle by Abby Yearwood. She had quite the run to get back to her position that time defensively. Was able to do so and watch the ball go out of bounds and now throws it in, and Logan's going to battle for it. Wins that battle, and ouch, that hurt. And good call here by the referee to take a break in the action as that was unintentional there as the ball was kicked and hit the young lady in the face for a central, and they're going to have to sub her out in that situation just because of the concussion protocols and procedures. As that will get the substitution in here, and it's going to be Number nine, setting the car, coming in, as that was Julian Wells. 
that's getting checked on right now below us. Hopefully she'll be okay and be able to check back into the contest a little bit later on. So ICC will basically just put it back in play where the official stopped it, and rightfully so, as neither team had the advantage in that situation. And now there's a turnover, and ICC has it. Says Pelsky with it. Tried to go ahead, but East Central steps in the way of it. And now EC trying to get out in transition, but there's Copeland to take it back for the Indians. But then there's East Central to get it back, and now it looks like ICC is going to take it back. So anything you could do, I could do better in that situation. But now East Central takes it away, but guess what? ICC takes it back. Now this one trying to be sent ahead, good idea, but a good hustle play that time by East Central to get in front of that pass to take away the scoring opportunity. Huckabee comes up and adds some pressure. Loose ball on the pitch, and East Central able to chase it down. This one's sent ahead, it's gonna stay in bounds. Copeland will control, simply send this one back to Vanua and she will send it right back to Copeland. So a throw in here for the Indians. Now here comes East Central, one of their better opportunities so far here in the first half. Leaves this one out wide, pokes it ahead, and it's just going to go out of bounds. And they're actually going to say it's deflected. No, they're going to say one referee saying it deflected, the other one saying no, so it'll be a goal kick coming up here for ICC. So it looked like it could have been a – the player from East Central said it was deflected away. The official nearest the ball said it was not, so Indians get a break there. That could have been a goal, or excuse me, a corner kick coming up for EC. Fanua puts a foot into this one, and it's going to take a hop over the top now. Here comes ICC trying to get with it. And this is going to be Logan giving chase here on the near side. Logan lets it settle. Fate the kick, then it's going to be out of bounds. Good defensive play by East Central to allow the defense to reset. Indians with it, and it looks like we're going to have a corner kick coming up here for ICC. So the first corner kick of the afternoon, and you heard Coach Strother say it, make it dangerous, make it count. And in a match like this where it's winner take all in the playoffs, each one of these opportunities is going to be very important throughout this contest. Pelsky will be set to step into this corner kick. Low line drives it on its way. East Central clears it out. ICC going to battle for it, and it's still loose, and the Indians eventually find it. Pelsky's going to send it. It's going to try to bend it in, but no. Nice save there. As that one was on track and on frame, but just couldn't quite get top shelf enough to find its way home there. We'll remain scoreless here, coming up on 35 minutes to play. Catch my clock up here. I forgot they had stopped it due to the injury. And they're going to call this one offside on the Indians. One of those that, when the ball got there, she was onside, but when left, she was trying to retreat back. This one's sent down the way, and it's going to be a scramble for it down here. And the Indians win it, but now this one kind of takes an unfortunate hop for the Indians. ICC is going to have to recover, and there's Copeland to clean things up. Great job by Copeland. She has been solid on that back line for the Indians this season, that being a prime example of why she has been so valuable to this Indians defense. Now this one's sent too far. It will go out of bounds and back to East Central. Get 
Lily Butcher coming into the match here for East Central. This substitution being brought to you by your Itawamba County State Farm insurance agent, Brandon Poland. For home, auto, or life, stop by and see Brandon there on South Adams Street for a free quote for your insurance needs. That's State Farm insurance agent, Brandon Poland. Tough defense out of the Indians eventually forces the turnover as Logan gets it. And she's able to pass that one back and ICC keeps it alive now. Logan's gonna get it and tries to send it across the middle, deflected out of bounds. And last touch by East Central. Huckabee takes that one away now. Going to try to make something happen here for the Indians. Leads it back to Pelsky, who tries to go on the cross. Just took an unfortunate hop away from the Indians that time. Now this is going to be Mathis giving chase. Try to give it back to her, but it goes out of bounds, and the ball will go back to East Central. Both teams seem kind of uptight right now, and understandably so, as we mentioned. The winner will get into the playoffs. The loser will not. So you can kind of tell neither one of these teams really wanting to make that critical mistake that can really kind of turn things around here for the opposing team. Now this one's in ahead. Huckabee finds it, lost it for a second, and East Central gets it back. We're going to have a foul whistle on the Indians. Men's match will follow here. We'll also have the their sophomore presentation. Is quickly going to throw this one in as the wind picking up here. Judging by the trees, it's not a lot of breeze on the field as that's dangerous there. And Vanua comes out and makes the great play to break it up and allow the defense to recover for her. They're going to get back, and ICC is going to break that one up. Boy, that was a big time situation. And there's another save. Like we have an Indian that's down on the pitch right now. We'll see if they're going to stop the player. Continue. Let's we'll say continue on here. Great transition. Great plays there by Vanua to keep this one scoreless. Good to see Vanua back on the pitch. She was shaken up during that match against. Northwest. As there's a handball calling the Indians there, so EC will have it now. This one, nice in, just a little too tall. But the wind might have got in behind that one. It is blowing for the way you're watching at home right now, kind of a right to left from far side to near side of the pitch. I know that absolutely made zero sense to those listening at home. So it is kind of a cross breeze, more so corner to corner of the field versus sideline to sideline. So this is Vanua who sends this one down its way. Ball bouncing around, neither team can control it. Still loose on the pitch, still and we're going to have a foul called here on the Indians. Tough break there for ICC. As both players scrapping for the ball, just a little too much on the part of the Indians. So it'll be another free kick coming up here for East Central. Good send on this one. Deflected, and Vanua is there again. Well, a good header that time, put on frame. It was a troublesome one as it kind of hopped near the feet of the keeper that time, but she was able to find it, get a hand on it, deflected away for a second after she caught it, but had the wherewithal to recover and keep the trailing player from coming in to get a cheap goal there. Now here comes East Central trying to split defenders. Across the middle of the pitch they go with it. They're going to fire from distance, and this one well off the mark. 
Not one of those shots you're not necessarily mad at if you're an East Central fan. You'd like to see that shot opportunity taken. Who knows, later in the match, might have that same opportunity, square up on it a little bit better and put it on frame. Morgan Massey coming into the contest here for East Central. That substitution being brought to you by the ICC Wesley Foundation. They meet on Tuesday nights. They're located right across the street from the Davis Event Center. Follow them on Instagram, Instagram at ICC Wesley. This time we're going to let to go the short route versus punting the ball. And ICC is going to quickly weave it through traffic. Ooh, nearly. Turnover there in a very dangerous spot, but ICC now able to dribble it forward. The ball just bounced up that time, unfortunately, on Earwood. As this one's sent ahead, now it's going to be a foot race. And they're going to call that a foul. That's going to be a that's going to be a tough call there. As both players going for it, it looked like actually the East Central player got to it before the ICC player did, and the referee who was trailing the play, yeah, well, his opinion is the only one that matters, and so he's going to call the foul there on East Central. And so it'll be ICC ball as they're going to chase one down somewhere. See if they'll let to eventually stop the clock and then we'll keep it running here. It looks like they're going to keep it running. And so it'll be a free kick here coming up for the Indians. This is a very dangerous spot. You see a lot of these turning to goals either straight away or off deflections. As this one's sent. It's going to be a low line drive, but easily scooped and saved. The Central trying to encourage the keeper to hurry up and send the ball, not allow ICC's defense to get back. But instead, ICC recovered, was able to get break up that 50 50 ball. And this one's sent over the middle. ICC takes it away again. Huckabee's going to send it back and allow the defense, or excuse me, allow the offense to reset. Now they get it here on the far side. Didn't like what they had, so they're going to simply dribble this one back out and try to reset. One too many touches there, and the Central takes it away. But a nice recovery by ICC to get it back. But then there's East Central to take it away after a bad bounce. ICC clears it back, and EC should control this one. Mad scramble. In that exchange at midfield. Indians send this one across. Now trying to go over the top, see if they can get a stretch out on the run, but can't do so as the keeper will come up and make the quick decision to play that one out. This one deflecting out, finds the feet of Huckabee. Huckabee trying to fight through traffic, but a great job there. As that was Lexi Green coming in and cutting off the angle of attack. And balls will go out of bounds. Last touch by ICC. They're actually going to call a foul on the Indian. So bump in the back on ICC will result of the free kick. Free kick is a low line drive and it's going to chase out of bounds. And you're going to see some kicks like that today. The Yes, we haven't had a lot of rain, but yesterday's rain was a lot in a little time. And so the field's going to be a little sloppy today. Wind is helping some to kind of dry it up a little bit. But you are seeing some players not necessarily slipping when they go to make cuts, but more so when they're going to these free kicks, you're seeing that little bit of slippage where they're hitting that plant foot. Ball sent to the right of us here in the Alumni Association press box, hit some chairs and sends them spilling over on the side. There's a 
nice job by the Indians to deflect that one. A good job by East Central to hustle back to keep possession right now. Still no score. 23 and a half to go until halftime. We'll have the sophomore day presentation coming your way at halftime. If we have time, we'll also place a selection from the ICC All-American Band. Part of the Little Caesars halftime show here in Fulton. That one deflected back by Huckabee, but East Central in the right spot at the right time. The referee's going to call a foul in that situation. That's kind of an unfortunate break because both players were going for the ball at that time, kind of got there at the same time, and the whistle went the way of Huckabee. She was kind of worse for wear after kind of comes up limping, limping after the play. ICC simply going to clear this one out, see if it stay in bounds, and there was a bump that time, and they're going to say it's going to be East Central ball. Well, kind of the same type of bump we saw here earlier caught on ICC, East Central getting away with one there, as this will be Trinity Barden coming into the match here for East Central. The substitution being brought to you by the ICC BSU. They beat Monday nights at 7.07 for the Chris Burrows and company. Proud to sponsor ICC soccer this afternoon here on the ICC Sports Network. Follow them on Twitter at ICC BSU. Now EC trying to go on the attack here. Sends one to the wide side. It's going to be a foot race for it on the far side. And ICC is going to – actually, Central keeps it in bounds. And ICC is going to clear it back now. Can the Indians get in transition? Ah, just an unfortunate too strong with a touch there. And then EC sends this one down the side, and it's going to be out of bounds. And they're going to say ICC ball as they throw it in. Substitutions coming into the match here for ICC. Julia Beckenstein will come back into the match. And Wells will re-enter here for East Central. Nowhere to go with the ball that time. Smart play to send it off an East Central player. We're going to have another substitution coming into the match here. This is going to be Lillian McDonald for ICC coming in, wearing number five. And also number five from East Central, Katie Statton coming into the match. Those substitutions being brought to you by Bank Oklahoma. John Herod and all the great folks out at Bank Oklahoma. Proud to serve the Northeast Mississippi area. Newest location on South Gloucester Street there in Tupelo. You want to stop by and see them and thank them for sponsoring today's action on the ICC Sports Network. 20 minutes to play here in the first half. Still no score between ICC and East Central. Central getting set to throw this one in below us. Of course, with the end of the soccer season means the start of another season, and ICC basketball be getting fired up next week as they'll open the season on Tuesday. As it'll be a goal kick coming up here. So Tuesday night, 5.30, 7.30, ICC basketball. Lady Indians will take on Columbia State. The Indians will take on Mississippi Delta. That'll be here on the Red Channel. Of course, you want to stay tuned to us on letsgoicc.com as well as Let's Go ICC on social media to update where, when, and all that good stuff for the playoffs. As 
have this one broken up on the far side of the pitch and go out of bounds. It'll be last touch by ICC, and it'll be a throw in here for East Central. Speaking of the playoffs, again, I know I mentioned it's earlier part of the broadcast, but if you're just now joining us, pretty simple here for ICC and East Central. You win, you're in. As this is going to be a chase, and East Central is going to send it back to reset. So we'll send this one from distance, and Vanua will handle that one. We get a breezy afternoon. Not too bad. It's cold like it was, I think, last week. The wind is gusting a little bit more than it was. Of course, this match was scheduled to play on Tuesday, but rain, heavy rain in the area. Wash that one out as... Huckabee gets it, fires, and just not strong enough after she couldn't quite get a strong leg on that, but an impressive play that time to get tripped up, pop up, and have the wherewithal to get a foot on it in a hurry before the defense was able to recover. And just unfortunately just couldn't quite get a strong enough foot on it as there's going to be a foul back at midfield on the Indians, so we'll reset it once the advantage was taken away. Central will have it now. Near side of the pitch. ICC plays some tough defense, forcing every time that East Central tries to advance the ball, they've been there to make them force to retreat and that time ICC took it away, but East Central had to send it back to the keeper. This one's going to be sent ahead, and ICC's got a chance to get to it here. And a smart play to head that one out. That time by McDonald to keep it alive for ICC. She'll find it again at the, her feet. Wants to work it over the middle. Traffic there, and East Central able to take it away for a moment, but ICC finds it back. And ICC forced to retreat and reset the attack as they go to the far side of the pitch. Now back in the middle. Now this one taken away. ICC with it now. It's going to strike, but too tall. Oh, great opportunity there for the Indians after the poor touch by East Central set the ICC Indians up with a good opportunity there. Just maybe a little bit too much adrenaline pumping as that one went too far. Substitution into the match here for ICC. Pelsky will re-enter here for the Lady Indians. This substitution being brought to you by Max Holmes in Sullivan, Alabama, and Fulton. Indians trying to apply some pressure, see if they can get another quick turnover like we saw in that previous possession. Copeland takes that one away at midfield. And now they send it back, and there's East Central to take it away, but another great job by Abby Yearwood. But now this is trouble, and nice quick decision there by Vanua to clear that one out and allow the defense to reset. Ball sent ahead, out of bounds, and it will go back to the Indians. Inside 15 minutes to play here. More substitutions coming into the match. Summerall will come in along with Logan for ICC. Kay Lyson, a proud sponsor of ICC Athletics. Need to get your eyes checked? You can do so by calling 842-EYES. That's 842-EYES. This ball sent ahead, out of bounds. And it will stay with the Indians. Join us tomorrow night as we'll have sophomore night. And Fulton for football. As they'll play Kahoma in the regular season finale there for ICC football. As the ball taken away there by East Central. On the throw in, tries to put, force it ahead, but ICC ready for it. Now this one's sent back, and ooh, Copeland had to hurry to get to the ball there. East Central showing a lot of really good speed. 
and have had some opportunities close to take away some easy touches by the Indians. And this one sent ahead, and East Central's keeper will come up and make the play on the ball. He's looking for the offside, but never saw it. The referee said, keep going there. And even East Central's coach was asking, hey, can't let those type things go. That was a dangerous play there. Now here comes the ball for the Indians, giving chase. Trying to go across the middle, pokes it forward, but he's central there to deflect it and get it back. Nice job by that one by the Indians to break it up to force it back. East Central will get it. There's Pelsky to break it up. And there's pretty much anything you can do, I can do better back and forth here. And they're going to call a foul on the Indians after the player ran and jumped into Pelsky on the play before. Interesting. So East Central will get the ball back here. Coming up on 12 minutes of play in the first half, still no score. Copeland just sends that one out wide, trying to allow the defense to get refocused. East Central retreats back to midfield. This one popped up here. East Central went to battle for it. Nice job there by Johnson to come in and clean that one up and to force the ball to go back to midfield. Well, ICC, for the first half of this half, dominated the time of possession, field position, and this is going to be trouble, and it's in. Let's go back and look at that one. And that is going to be an own goal. One of those that deflected off an ICC player and ended up in the back of the goal and a big time break there for East Central. So East Central takes a one nil advantage here off the miscue by the Indians. Now ICC trying to pull even here. And we've got an injured player on the pitch as we'll take the time out and be back with more right after this. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Playing on tour takes years of dedication. Hours of practice, focused precision, and nerves of steel. That's how you become great at the game, but not how you should bank. That's why Allie Ewing chose Renaissance Bank. Their easy to use app makes banking a breeze, no matter where she is. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. And welcome back out of that injury timeout that was number seven. Macy Riggs that was shaking up on the play, but she's able to walk off on her own power with little to no limp there. So good to see Macy able to shake that one off. one nothing is the score. East Central with the lead here. 11-16 to go. And so the injury will basically just put it back in play here. So now ICC, they've got to battle back and find the equalizer here. As we mentioned, winner goes on to the playoffs. As this one sent ahead now, and East Central has it. ICC, though, sent it ahead, but just couldn't quite find the foot on it. It's going to go out of bounds. 
And it'll be a throw in here for East Central. Or actually, no, excuse me, they're going to say a throw in here for ICC. Huckabee, tackle from behind. Referee extends his hand to make the call, but says play on instead. And now East Central is going to send this one forward. And now here's a good send ahead. Huckabee's going to have it. Sends it forward. Opportunity here for the Indians. As it's batted away, stuck forward. Is it going to get in? Yes, it does! The Indians find the equalizer. Big time play there for the Indians. And go back and look at that one from the... Send, which was a great one there in the battle amongst the players here and a good job by ICC to send that one home. Just got just enough foot on it. And we're tied at one now as that was Summerall with the goal. So brand new contest now as 1-1 is the score. And a big time answer there for the Indians. Now East Central tried to counter there, but a nice job by Johnson to clear that one out. Now here come the Indians. Good touch here by Logan to send this one forward. Foot race on the far side of the pitch. Huckabee trying to reverse it back into the middle, but a good job there by East Central to force her back and reset the attack. And now here comes ICC striking from distance, but not on frame. Easy scoop up there for the keeper. Nearly taken away there by ICC Central. Now plays it on the far side, trying to go forward. And once again, great hustle play by Abby Earwood. She has covered a lot of ground defensively today, and she has been pivotal role while this match is still at 1-1 here early on. Now this one sent ahead. Indians trying to clear it out. East Central finds it, and that one not going to be on frame either, just like East Central's last shot. So we'll stay at 1-1. One remind you that coming up after the conclusion of this match will be our men's match. We'll also have the sophomore recognition in between matches, so you'll want to be sure and stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to have it. I recorded it. We'll see how well it recorded. We'll see at halftime, but to have the women's sophomore recognition that was before the game. Of course, if you miss it, it's always available on our YouTube page. Just go search Let's Go ICC on YouTube for Tons and tons and tons of content there athletically. This ball just pinballed all around, and ICC will eventually find it and send it out wide. That's going to be Logan across the way. Tries to send it ahead, but a great job jumping in front of that one by Reagan of East Central. Substitution coming into the match here for ICC. This is going to be Jordan Allen into the match here for ICC. His substitution being brought to you by TM real estate agent, Ricky Murphy. Got a home, need to sell it, looking to buy one. Check out Ricky Murphy. You can search him on Facebook or just go to the Tommy Morgan page and find Ricky Murphy. He's a guy that helped buy my house and I've been very happy with the easy process and how smooth that was with Ricky. So Ricky Murphy, a proud sponsor of ICC Athletic, former member of the ICC All-American Band. So 
So EC with it, just simply bringing this one across midfield. 1-1 is the score. Trying to go with that back heel touch. Nobody there. Good, tough defense. Forcing that turnover by ICC. Substitution back in the match here. Macy Riggs. Good to see her back in. As she was shaking up earlier. Dangerous throw in there as like one of these central players might have accidentally bumped heads with one of the ICC players. She was shaking up for a bit. Now this one bouncing around, bouncing around, and a foul is going to be called here on the Indians. And that one, Barton was lobbying really hard for it, and the official called it. And so it'll be a very dangerous spot for a free kick coming up here for East Central. So they're getting the line situated. So a free kick coming up here for EC. Sends this one on its way. Too strong. And the Indians dodge a bullet there with five minutes to play here in the first half. So it'll be a goal kick coming up here for the Indians. On a breezy, chilly afternoon here in Fulton. Sophomore day for our sophomore pro, sophomore, or excuse me, sophomores for our soccer programs. As there was a push in the back, but ICC able to find the ball. Wants to send this one ahead. It's gonna be a foot race here. Riggs though, couldn't quite get to it quick enough as the keeper clears this one out. ICC gonna try to chase it down. Instead it goes out of bounds and it will stay with East Central. to left now pretty much going left into the press box here. As now the ICC is going to send it out wide. So going to send this one across, but easily saved that time by East Central. Got three and a half minutes until halftime. Invite you to stay tuned for the Little Caesars halftime report. And there's going to be a tug of the jersey. And well, they say, I thought they said stop the clock, but instead. So here comes a golden opportunity here for the Indians to try to build on this lead going into halftime. Peltsky will get ready to put a foot into this free kick here for the Indians. And they're going to send this one nice send, and it's over the middle. Deflected out, and East Central, oh, boy, they dodged a big-time bullet there as that one just kind of bounced a little too high. If that one would have bounced about waist high for McDonald, she could have put a strike on it, but instead took a hop up and Kind of rolled away from her there, so a big time break for East Central. Tough break for ICC fans watching at home. So, but it does turn into a corner kick here for ICC that Pelsky will take here. Line drive sent ahead. This one's going to be sent back out. Pelsky should be able to pick it up, and she will. Gets by one defender, gets by another defender, puts a left foot into it, looking to go back post, but nobody there for the Indians. Riggs will give chase, and she'll keep it alive. And eventually the ball will go out of bounds. Boy, she could have found a way to finish that one off left-footed after those two juke moves. That would have been an early nominee for our What A Play Wednesday, which will be out later tonight. So it had been next week's What A Play Wednesday. ICC throws this one in. Now strikes from distance, but not on frame. 
And we'll stay at 1-1 inside a minute and a half to go here. East Central will have a goal kick. Ball must have ran further away than we thought, as now here comes the keeper with it. This one sent ahead, and ICC breaks it up. Johnson trying to battle between a couple of players there, and Eventually, we'll send it out of bounds and it'll go back to East Central with 30 seconds to play. So they're going to have to hurry here as they're going to try to throw this one in. And they do so with 25 seconds left on the clock. This one cleared back. And for the most part, that will probably do us here for the first half of play. Now that there's 15 seconds on the clock, ICC is going to try to put some pressure on EC. Looks like they're just going to be happy with putting the ball forward and just letting time run out here with five seconds. We're going to end the first half. Oh, hold on to everything. Does not get the shot off in time. Oh, man. She had a second and a half to possibly square up a shot there. Just did not recognize the clock and ran down an ICC. Catches a big time break there heading into halftime. So we're going to start. We're going to finish the first half like we started. Tied only ICC and East Central able to put a goal in instead of it being 0 0. So it's halftime. Let's take a quick break and come back with more. Part of the Little Caesars halftime show here from Fulton. Little Caesars is now the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Let's go! Pizza, 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 pizza. Keep it hot. It's good. Pizza, pizza. Again. Harder, readier. Let's go, let's go. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. No, pull. High five. Pizza, pizza. pizza. Come on. Wow. Pizza, pizza. We're ready. Enjoy game day with a fanceroni pepperoni with over 100 old world pepperonis. Pizza, pizza. Ooh, bumble. Let's give her a renaissance replay. Make the right call with renaissance and get cell phone protection with renaissance rewards extra checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. Hey, Indian fans. I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent, Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. Whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll Trav! This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Sam's Town Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. Good afternoon, Itawamba soccer fans and families. Prior to today's kickoff, we are going to honor our 2022 sophomore, sophomore class and some of their accomplishments here at ICC. We ask that you join the celebration at this time. Number zero, Ina Vanula. Keeper, Helsinki, Finland. Transfer from Blue Mountain College. Parents are Petrie and Serpa Vanula.
Number one, Bree Huckabee, forward, Saltillo, Mississippi. 2021 NJCAA All-Region Team Selection. Parents are Joe and Mary Huckabee. Number four, Emma Logan, midfielder, Fulton, Mississippi. 2021 President's List, Phi Theta Kappa Officer, Honors College Member, and English Honor Society. Parents are Greg and Kelly Deacle. Number 11, Madison Copeland, center back, Cublo, Mississippi. Student government officer, National Honor Society, English Honor Society, and a recipient of the Sharon Acock Endowment Scholarship. Parents are Charles and Tina Copeland. Number 15, Abby Earwood, outside back, Duplo, Mississippi. Two-year letterman for the women's soccer team. Parents are Philip and Gina Earwood. We are thankful for the way that all these players have represented our wonderful college during their time at Itawamba. We appreciate each one of them for always remaining an example of the standards within our program. Let's take this time to thank these student athletes for their tremendous honors. Thank you, sophomore class of 22, and uh, good luck today. Over 100 crispy old world pepperoni. Cheesy crust edge? This fanceroni pepperoni from Little Caesars is fancy. Am I fancy enough for the fanceroni? I'm wearing cargo shorts. But Tim, <laughs> me too. Fancy isn't measured by your inseam. Fancy comes from here. Cause if you are what you eat, then we're all feeling mighty fancy today. Yeah! Try the fanceroni pepperoni with over 100 old world pepperoni. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. Edwamba Community College is proud to present to you the 2019 ICC All-American Marching Band. We are thrilled to perform for you this year's program, The Evolution of Gaming, featuring music from some of the most popular video games of our time. We open our program this evening with the music from the 1980 Atari game, Space Invaders. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the ICC All-American Marching Band!
And now the 91 Sega game, Sonic the Hedgehog, featuring Parasia Dunlap. our low grass. this evening for the 2002 video game.
Little Caesars is now the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Let's go! Pizza, 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 pizza. Keep it hot. It's good. Pizza, pizza. Again. Harder, readier. Let's go, let's go. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. No. Pull. High five. Pizza, pizza. pizza. Come on. Whoa. Pizza, pizza. We're ready. Enjoy game day with a Fanceroni pepperoni with over 100 Old World pepperonis. Pizza, pizza. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Oklahoma, Sam's Town Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set to start the second half of play. 1-1 is your score here in a winner-take-all matchup between ICC and East Central. And by winner take all, I mean the winner makes the playoff and the loser, well, it will unfortunately be the end of your season there. So a lot of sophomores who we honored before today's match on both squads, so a lot of sophomores. Um, let me start that sentence over. I screwed that up. A lot of sophomores on this pitch today, hoping this will not be their last match. Of course, we honored our sophomores here at ICC before today's match. You get to see that part of Little Caesars halftime show here this afternoon. East Central in their gold and black. ICC in their white and blue kits. East Central working left to right on your screen. ICC, of course, will counter on the right to left attack. Men's match will be coming up following this one. We'll have the men's sophomore appreciation festivities coming your way as well. So a little bit of a mad scramble here to start the half. So this one's going to be sent forward and it's going to be last touched by E. Citra. So it'll be a throw in for ICC. A lot of sports going on this week. We'll have football tomorrow night. Davis Ford pregame show coming your way at 6 o'clock. If you're not around your computer, you can listen on Super Talk Mississippi 101.9 FM, or you can watch right here on the Red Channel. Of course, we'd love to see you come out and support the Indians on their sophomore night for football, as well as Breast Cancer Awareness Night. Appreciate that partnership there with the North Mississippi Medical Center Breast Care Unit. Had them as our guest on the Super Talk show, the ICC Hour on Tuesday. Swing and a miss, and ICC will take it away now, trying to get down the pitch. But a great job coming in, help defense, as that was number five, Staten, that came in and didn't really give ICC an opportunity to pass that one away. The only thing the Indians could have done that time was what they did, and deflect it off an East Central player and get the throw in. And that one off the noggin of the referee. So he will reset it here. This ball just refusing to go to anybody right now. So it's just pinballing all around the place. It's going to go out of bounds and be last touched by ICC. Breeze will, once you get kind of used to being up here and the breeze will die for a little while and then it will blow back to remind you that it's cold out here today. Got a good 
crowd across the way. See some of our student athletes coming out today to support the women's soccer team. I'm sure they'll stick around for the men's match as well. A lot of activities going on this week on campus as well. So Taylor Tudor doing a great job with the students' activities. Having a lot of those, of course, themed around Halloween. Fanua puts a foot into this one. Down the pitch it goes, and ICC able to head this one out. Now Huckabee's going to try to find it. Tries to send this one across the middle, broken up there by East Central, but Huckabee comes back to get it, sends it across the middle, and it's deflected out by the Warriors, and they'll eventually send it back to midfield, but Johnson's there waiting on it for ICC. This one broken up for a moment by Johnson, but East Central is able to find it. Now here come the Warriors. Far side makes a cut. But East Central could not cash in on the opportunity there. And a great job by ICC. That was Beckenstein deflecting that shot out that time. And Logan finds it. So East Central is basically just going to send this one back and reset here. We talked about how slick this is, especially in the shaded area. You just saw a player from ICC try to plant, slip down, and then the central player here in front of us, she tried to put that plant foot down to kick the ball, and just her foot failed her that time as she slipped on the mud and it went out of bounds. This ball sent out of bounds, and it should be ICC ball here on the throw in. So we're going to clear that one out to allow the defense to reset here for East Central. This one's thrown over. Huckabee lets it clear. Now ICC gets it, puts a foot on it, but broken up nicely defensively as East Central was crowding the way that time. Now this one breaks away. Now here comes the opportunity here for East Central. Strikes, and it's going to be too wide. Uh, that's one of those there you know that Jade Brown would love to have another opportunity on there. Probably would have liked to take another touch or two to get a little bit more of a high percentage shot. ICC dodges a big time bullet there. Strong foot put into this one. And it's going to be ICC that won it for a second, but East Central quickly collapsed and take their way, and they're going to reset. Now here comes EC on the near side. They're going to send this one forward, and Vanua will squeeze that one. And ICC is going to try to get out in a hurry here, see if they can catch EC a little sluggish getting back but East Central did a great job of leading the ball at midfield and breaking up that counter attack. And quite the scramble for the ball there and they're actually going to call this on ICC as the East Central player had good position on the ICC players, so said so it hooked her and took her to the ground. So a free kick at midfield as this one sent on a rope, and ICC would deflect it away, but East Central will eventually find it though. Want to go out wide with it? Great hustle there on the part of ICC to break it up. EC, though, able to dig it out and keep it. Squeezes this one ahead. Shoots on this one and easily scooped up there that time by Manua. And a strong.
strong foot put into this one. As East Central, though, finds it off the hop. They're going to send this one out of bounds, though. Got substitutions coming in here for ICC. McDonald and Riggs will come into the contest here. These substitutions being brought to you by your Itawamba County State Farm agent, Brandon Poland. For all your insurance needs, whether it be home, auto, or life, stop by and see Brandon right there on South Adams Street here in Fulton. Get a free quote on insurance from Brandon Poland. Appreciate him. He's one of the newest sponsors we've got this season. Recently moved into his location on South Adams Street, so I'd say probably about halfway down the road from where you turn on at the last red light to the T intersection. Right there, if you're coming from Little Caesars, who is also a proud sponsor of ICC Athletics. Uh, if you're coming from that way, going towards campus, is about halfway down South Adams Street. Just look for that big red sign. Brandon Poland, proud to sponsor today's action. As this one put forward and nearly in, good foot on the ball that time by Logan. Didn't really have a chance to even look at the goal that time. Just put a foot on it, made it dangerous, but a save on the part of East Central. Second ball, Campbell Carroll. Campbell Carroll. Now here comes East Central. What a great job there by ICC to get in front of it, break it up, and allow the defense to reset. Put it on the cross, a dangerous situation here as they were trying to fire but just couldn't quite get squared up on it in ICC. We'll clear this one out. Boy, a tough hop that just didn't allow East Central to get a quick strike on the ball, even though it was a good cross that time. Just couldn't do anything with it. Now this one's in ahead, dangerous. And are they gonna call a foul or not? As a player is down in this situation, And I think she was maybe trying to sell the fact that she didn't get the call there. She popped up once the referee got to her, and they're having quite the conversation back and forth. So good to see the young lady from East Central not hurt. And so the referee would simply drop the ball and put it back in play. Tough call. That one could have went either way. And it went the way of the Indians and ICC battling for it now at midfield. Now the Indians want to squeeze this one ahead. Here comes an opportunity here. Tulkaby has it, has a step, trying to fire, strikes, and it's saved. Now ICC trying to battle back to get it. This one's sent forward and looking for the cross, but not there. And this is going to result, though, in a corner kick. Well, I'll tell you what, what a strike by Huckabee. What a great save, though, by Traeger of East Central to keep this one at 1-1. We mentioned it. Winner takes all here. Gets that final spot in the playoffs. As ICC getting set for this corner kick. Pelsky puts a nice foot into this one. Looking back post. Ball bouncing around. Still not cleared out yet. And then East Central eventually clears it out. Helsky gets it back. Let it go back post. Nobody there for ICC, but now there is with a save. What a hustle play there. I believe that was Riggs. Thought the ball was going to go out of bounds. Riggs just chased it down, gave it that extra effort, and nearly snuffed that one in. And now here comes East Central trying to get out in transition. And a big time collision there. And a foul caught on the Indians, so it'll be a free kick coming up here for East Central. So a dangerous spot to send this one to. Manu will be looking back into the sun. As East Central will get ready to send this one. 
Referee getting everyone squared away and asking everyone to kind of see a little bit of pushing and shoving going on. He blew the whistle. The player thought it was in play, but instead he was talking to some of the players that was in there saying, hey, stop pushing and shoving. Trying to get everybody to get some their position, but not keep fighting for that position. And you know what? Good on 10 for East Central number 10, Lexi Green. Could have easily moved that ball up about another three or four foot, but instead put it roughly back where it was. And they wanted the handball, but that hit her clearly in the chest. So no. no. Because if that was a handball, then what East Central just did was a handball. But instead, it would be a foul on the push on the Indians, so it would be a free kick coming up here for East Central. Starting to feel the intensity pick up in this match as we're just about 30 minutes away from the end of the second half here. Green will take this free kick. Now this one, nice in by Green. ICC breaks it up. East Central, though, able to get it back now. And ICC clears it out. Well, had a step for a second, but good help defense on the part of the Indians to come back and clean that one up. And now we'll have a substitution coming into the match here for East Central. Jenna Thompson will be entering the match here. This substitution is being brought to you by the Kegel Eye Center here in Fulton. And East Central will throw it in on the far side of the pitch. This one broke it up. Still though in dangerous territory, ICC's gotta clear that thing out. East Central trying to scrap for it. A good hustle on the part of East Central. And they're gonna say it's gonna stay with the Warriors. But right now the Warriors winning those second ball battles. And to be able to keep things alive on their side here, ICC trying to battle. This one sent ahead. East Central able to keep it. And thought about the shot, but didn't have anything. Now East Central's gonna back it back out. ICC's defense comes out, forces it out of bounds once again. Boy, the Indians trouble clearing things out when they have the opportunity. East Central's been able to take advantage of that. Just unfortunate for East Central fans right now. They don't have a goal to show for it. This ball sent ahead and it's going to go out of bounds. I believe it will stay with East Central. Also hosting a women's basketball Juco showcase this afternoon. Nine games in the Davis Event Center. That's where it will be Friday. Of course, you can find out more on that as volleyball hosting playoff round of the tournament on Friday. Of course, we'll be there on Tuesday with the start of basketball season. 5.30 and 7.30 here on the Red Channel. This ball sent ahead. East Central giving chase and will win that foot race. Instead, we'll send it out of bounds and ICC will have the throw in. Sent ahead, out of bounds. And it'll be a corner kick coming up here for the Indians. ICC has had a few of these today. Just haven't been able to make them, da make them dangerous here. And now we'll see if the Indians can cash in on another corner kick. Pelsky across the way getting ready to send this one. Mark 11! Line drive sent. Ball is going to be deflected and it's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by ICC. Scramble for the ball, and Copeland clears it out. East Central, though, makes a great play to get it back. Get up, get up. 
Try to send it down the pitch, but Johnson's there for it. Going to reverse it on the far side to Logan. But East Central was just there a step before Logan was. And ICC, though, able to battle back and had it for a second. East Central calls the deflection, and now they get it back. And ICC does the same. This one sent ahead looking for Riggs. Just couldn't quite get to it in time as the ball's going to be sent out of bounds. It'll be a throw in here by the Indians. Ball thrown in, headed, and will be taken care of by the keeper there. Was looking for possibly McDonald to break off that one to get it in, but her angle of attack was taken away. So East Central will win that second ball chance there. Thing they've done really good of here in the second half is. Maybe not winning that first initial battle, but have been able to come up and make some plays off the second, even sometimes third opportunities. But for ICC, they've been able to keep them out of the back of the net, keep things tied up at 1-1 here, inside 25 minutes to play. And we may have an injury timeout here. So we will get the substitution in place of the injury as this is number 14, Summerall, coming into the match. She's got the only goal today for the Indians. Major foot into that one as Logan's going to send this one ahead. Really, nobody there for ICC. Well, again, looking at the wind, the trees across the way aren't moving a lot, but the trees behind us are moving a good bit here in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth. You can also hear it over there, our external mic. And a foul called on the Indians. That wind is playing a factor, but it appears to be blowing right to left as a lot of the kicks that we're seeing from Ivana being a little bit stronger this half. And another flop. Or actually, they're going to call this on ICC. And the referee's going to call for time here. And now we're going to have a yellow card come out. And who's the card on? He just kind of held it up and put it in the general direction. Gabby, Gabby. We do get a substitution in here for East Central. This will be Gabby Fala coming in. And it looks like it's going to be a corner kick coming up here for East Central. I still don't know who the yellow was on. Is this one sent ahead, trying to get the header in there. The ball's still not cleared out. East Central battling for it. And now East Central, I mean, I get it. That's what you try to do. If you don't have the opportunity to get to the ball there, you see if you can't draw a whistle, but could be hurting their own chances a little bit later on in the match. Because that was the second time it was a it was a flop, I mean, for lack of better terminology for it, but it could be one of those that if you do get bumped and possibly could get the call later in the match, the referee can go back and say, well, you know, they flopped two or three times trying to get some calls. That may be another flop. Darn if you do, darn if you don't in that situation. <laughs> now East Central with it on the far side after ICC missed to get it on the turnover. And this one's going to be on East Central. 
as the central player grabbed the ICC player and took her to the ground. That's what we said, you know, you're eventually going to try to draw those calls and it's not going to go in your favor and that was one of them. So Copeland will just simply try to reverse the pitch here for ICC. Coming up on 21 minutes in the contest, winner take all here in that final spot for the playoff. This one headed back and ICC's gotta be careful here. And the Indians have struggled to clear things out, but you gotta give credit to East Central though. They have been anywhere and everywhere and just been scrappy here in the second half. And that one's gonna be deflected off, but could not send it home. Boy, oh boy, what a big time break there for the Indians. Tough one for East Central as you can't draw it up much better than that. And it will be a corner opportunity coming up here for EC. Well, East Central has been knocking on the door a lot here in the second half. ICC has been doing a good job of kind of avoiding those in those situations. We've got subs for both teams coming in. Butcher in for East Central. For ICC, it's Thompson and Mathis re-entering. So it'll be a corner kick coming up here. This one's set on its way, dangerous. And nicely cleared out that time by the Indians. East Central, though, shoots it from distance, and Fadua was there ready for it. Well, ICC's been flirting with disaster. That's what I'm going to say here in the second half, as East Central has done a great job of controlling field position, shot opportunities, and time of possession so far here in the second half. This one's sent ahead. And eventually taken away, and ICC will have it now. This is going to be Pelsky. Pelsky trying to dribble her way through traffic, now leaves it ahead. Now here comes ICC with an opportunity. He's going to go out wide to Logan. Logan here on the far side of the pitch, fires, and no, off the side of the net. A good strike that time by Logan, just couldn't quite get it on frame as she tried to go top shelf that time. And one of the few opportunities ICC has had here in the second half, and it gets turned away. 19 minutes to play. 1-1 is your score here in Fulton. This ball is going to be set out of bounds, and it will stay with ICC. This one poked forward, but he's central in the right spot at the right time. Now going to try to get it up the pitch, but ICC, there's Pelsky again. Great job by Addison to take that one away. Dribbling through traffic, now pokes it forward. If it's going to be a foot race here, can ICC get to it? No. Great job there by the EC defender. I believe it's 25 possibly, maybe 26. That came across and took away the angle of attack from the ICC player and freed up the keeper to get to the ball with ease. 22 actually. We'll see who that was. That was Jenna Thompson. As Copeland tries to clear this one out, couldn't quite get a solid foot on it. East Central finds it. Now they're going to try to send it out wide, and Johnson's going to be there to clear it out of bounds and allow the defense to reset. I'm telling you, folks, East Central, they are making some opportunities dangerous here in the second half, but ICC's defense has somehow been able to deny those efforts. But it's one of those that they've become consistently dangerous. So if you're ICC, you got to find a way to get the ball on the other side of the pitch and keep it down there for a little while. This ball's going to be sent out wide, and Manua's just going to be able to go chase that one down. East Central's going to come up and apply some pressure as she'll pick it up now. Basically just a do-over in that sense. And now this one booted down the pitch. It's going to be chased and it's going to go out of bounds. 
So a tough break there for the Indians. East Central will get it back now. As we said, they have controlled time of position or time of possession here in the second half. That ball, just pretty much what ICC just did, just one of those unfortunate touches that traveled too far and went out of bounds. So anything you can do, I can do better on that exchange. And same thing there. Substitution coming to the match here for ICC. This is going to be Huckabee entering the match. This substitution being brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Proud sponsor of today's action here in ICC soccer. And we're going to have a pushing call here on the Indians. And so East Central will get it back. This one's going to be deflected out. Huckabee's going to try to find it now. Gets away from the player. Huckabee going to try to see if she can get down the pitch. But East Central comes in and makes the play. But they're going to call a foul here on East Central. Or are they going to call it on ICC? They're going to call it on ICC. And she had the ball. So the foul is on Huckabee who was trying to get the crossover with the ball, was bumped by the East Central player. If anybody's watching and has my cell phone number, please explain that one to me. As it looked like the ball was taken away due to the contact, but the referee said that ICC committed the foul. Now here come the Indians. Far side of the pitch. Struggling to get the ball to go with them. Now they're going to... Send this one forward, cross some traffic. ICC finds it. Now they're going to try to go on the outside. Strike and oh, just too wide. Oh, beautiful opportunity there. Summerall looking for her second goal of the match. Just could not get that one on frame. Tough break for the Indians. A big time break there for East Central. As we said, ICC has not had very many shot opportunities here in the second half, and that was one that was very dangerous there. You see, tried to send it forward. ICC steps in front of it. And now here come the Indians. Indians want to send this one ahead. Here comes an opportunity here. Somerville again. And no, what a great play by the keeper. Ball still alive, though. And a smart play by East Central. Not to even worry where they were sending the ball. Just send it forward and clear it out. And that's one thing ICC has struggled with in the second half. But there was a foul called on East Central. So it'll be a free kick coming up here for ICC. And we're going to have a stoppage of play here. And sorry about that, folks, as referee calling for game day administration. Uh, one of those that it's an intense match, and it's a, one of those where you're playing for the last spot in the playoffs. As a referee, you got to have a little bit thicker skin than that, unless you're getting cussed at. And I've been able to hear what the fans are yelling pretty clearly across the way, and none of them have necessarily gotten out of line. And the referee so wanted to take a break in this opportunity to possibly get that under control. Eh. I don't necessarily agree with it. Because it has been a great match and 
this just kills the flow of the match and takes away from the atmosphere as we said nothing has really been malicious maliciously said across the way so now after this long delay we'll get the free kick coming up here for ICC 1-1 one, one is still the score So we'll eventually get it back in play. This one is going to be kicked a little too far. And it's just tough right there, especially after that long of a break, waiting to put the ball in play. So after that free kick was sent too far, to be a goal kick coming up here for East Central. This ball's deflected by ICC. Then East Central tries to find it and can't do so. So an opportunity here for the Indians to see if they can keep the ball on their side of the pitch for a little while and get a few opportunities here to see if they can get the go-ahead goal as we come up on 13 minutes to play in regulation. Come on, keep the ball in play. Again, ladies, again, let's get it up. <laughs> so this is going to be headed out and it's going to stay ICC ball on the throw-in. This one's sent in, and it's going to spin around, and the keeper keeps it from going out of bounds. If it would have went out of bounds, it would have been a corner kick for ICC. So a very, very smart play. I believe that's Traeger that's still in net here for EC. This header is going to be sent back and out of bounds, and it will stay with ICC. 12 minutes to play. Season on the line for both teams here. The winner will advance to the playoffs the loser unfortunately will see their season come to an end here in Fulton ball goes out of bounds it will stay with ICC we do have a substitution coming in here again Pelsky will come in for ICC Coming up on 11 minutes to play. This ball sent out. And Huckabee will let it settle. Tries to squeeze this one ahead, but the keeper is going to make the smart play just about two steps before there. But actually, there's going to be a foul called on East Central. Uh, did not see a whole lot of contact there to warrant a foul call. So now... Some, I don't know. I did. I did. I just. I'm not saying there wasn't a foul. I just did not see any contact or anything that would have interfered with the play. So a free kick coming up here for ICC. Pelsky will step into this one. Sends it. It's going to be dangerous. The putback though not there. Oh, tough break there, but a good job trying to clean that one up by Mathis is. Pelsky put a beautiful foot on the ball that time and great play again by Traeger to keep us at 1-1 here with 10 minutes to play. This ball poked away. East Central though is going to find it back. Still loose on the pitch and dangerous there and oh just a step before ICC can get to it. As Copeland trying to chase this one down, so we'll sit out of bounds and it will stay with East Central. Well, you're starting to see some players kind of 
when they get a break to catch their breath or maybe take a drink of water, they're trying to dig deep in this one. As Green's going to throw this one in for East Central. This ball popped up, will stay with EC. And then ICC does a good job of getting it back. Now this is going to be Huckabee with it. Huckabee's going to leave it back to Pelsky. Pelsky gets around the defender. Now he's got a lot of green grass in front of her to challenge forward. Then the ball just took an unfortunate hop away from her that time, and East Central takes it back. Good hustle again by who else but Earwood. Abby Earwood has just been there today for the Indians as she forced the attack to retreat after running well beyond midfield to get back to her position defensively. And this is going to be reeled in by the Indians, and they actually caught this out of bounds, so it's going to be a corner kick coming up here for East Central. And so they're going to say the ball was out of bounds. And so a rare corner kick coming up here for East Central after the mental mistake by ICC. Eight minutes to play in this one. 1-1, one, one, steal the score. This one's sitting on its way too tall and goes long and to go out of bounds to be a goal kick coming up here for the Indians. Substitution coming in for ICC. This will be number five, McDonald, re-entering the contest. Logan will check out here. That substitution brought to you by First American National Bank here in Fulton. Remember, you can show your ICC spirit with the ICC athletic debit card. Just talk to your local representative there from First American National Bank and get one of those debit cards. This ball sent forward, it popped up and still a mad scramble for it. ICC eventually lets it settle. Are they gonna send it back to midfield? Indians want to go out wide with it now on the attack with seven minutes to play. East Central breaks it up for a moment, but ICC finds it back, sends it across, and oh, what a great play by East Central to break that one up. If not, it was going to be a 1v1 opportunity for Mathis and a great play defensively by East Central to negate that opportunity there. So it'll be a throw in for ICC. Referee was calling in the substitution, but didn't see anybody sub in. As this throw in is going to carry out of bounds. And it'll be a goal kick coming up here with EC. Inside, six and a half to play. This time they're going to try to go along on the opposite side of the pitch. East Central was able to find it. ICC is coming to apply some pressure. That's Huckabee. Forces the ball away, is eventually going to roll and be out of bounds. And they're going to say it will belong to East Central. Well, who's got it left, enough gas left in the tank here with six minutes to play? 1-1 one, one is the score. Your season's on the line. Who can dig deep? That's this throw in, and East Central finds it. ICC, though, comes up. Double teams takes the ball away at midfield. East Central, though. Comes back on the blind side, and the foul caught on ICC. Got a good group of fans showing up from East Central, supporting them across the way. Uh, this one. Sent on its way. ICC will head it out. East Central going to try to chase it down. They just get to it to keep it alive on their side. And then ICC takes it away. Nearly turns it back over. And the Indians have got to find a way just to get this one out. One thing they've struggled with here in the second half is clearing the ball out as East Central has been just about anywhere and everywhere. ICC has tried to go with the ball and made things difficult for the Indians here in the second half. And that one's going to be tackled out of bounds, and it will stay with the Indians. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies, come on. 
So it'll be a throw in here for ICC coming up on four minutes of play. Crunch time here for both these squads. Indians quickly reverse the pitch across the way. Tries to send this one on his way, but blocked out of bounds. Good job putting your body in the way that time by East Central because I'm going to tell you this, that probably hurt. So you heard the contact all the way over here. This one sent over the middle. East Central trying to clear it out. Still in a dangerous spot here. ICC finds it. Pelsky, or no, excuse me, not Pelsky. Now here comes the Indians. Strikes a foot. No. That was Mathis. Mathis with a strong strike, but another nice save by East Central. We're tied 1-1. Now here comes East Central, trying to counter the attack here on the far side of, or near side of the pitch. Nearly lost it out of bounds, able to keep it now. Now they're going to go across the middle. Copeland's there to clear it out and send it to the side. And we will have substitutions coming in here for East Central. Staten and Dennis. In the contest here, inside three minutes to play. 1-1, one, one, steal your score. Throw in here by East Central. This one's going to be deflected out, but Danger still in the box here. ICC giving chase. And a great play there by ICC to take it away. That one pinned off the back of an East Central player. Now is going to give an opportunity here. They're going to say she was on side. It's going to strike, but no, broken up by the Indians. Great defensive play there by ICC to take a shot away. And it'll be a corner opportunity coming up here for EC. Well, she was getting ready to load up and put a boot in that one. But a good job. I believe that may have been Macy taking away that opportunity. And the referee calling for the clock to stop. There's a little trouble getting the ball in here. So now we'll have the corner kick coming up here. And it's... Bouncing around, East Central couldn't quite get ahead on it. Now they're going to strike from distance. Top shelf, and it's in. Big time goal there for East Central. As they have battled back to a 2-1 advantage here with 136 remaining in the contest. back and try to see who scored that one for East Central as we look at the Little Caesars instant replay here. Still really couldn't tell who had it as we're back to live action now. ICC got to work with purpose. As ICC now trailing this one two to one, coming up on 115 to play in the contest. This ball's gonna go out of bounds, and ICC now looking at one minute to play. And again, East Central sends this one out of bounds. And ICC they need some fans to help get the ball in quickly. They do finally chase it back as they get ready to put another one in play here. 50 seconds. Can the Indians find the equalizer in the closing seconds of this one to keep their season alive? Huckabee reverses the pitch. Indians looking for the ball. Now they're going to sing, swing it out wide. East Central there. Strike deflected. And it's going to go out of bounds, and it will stay with ICC with 33 seconds. Indians have got to hurry. Taking a lot of time throwing the ball in here. And it's going to be 
Out of bounds, a corner kick here, but ICC's got to hurry. 18 seconds. India's rushing to the ball. Pelsky puts it in play. This one's going to be still in play. Bounce forward. Popped up, and no, saved. And that's going to do it. East Central hangs on with a late goal to pick up a two to one win here over the Indians in the season finale. Tough break for ICC as they had a chance to find the equalizer late, but couldn't send it home. Your final score here from Fulton, East Central two, ICC one. We'll take a break, come back and get ready for the men's game right after this on the ICC Sports Network. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Sam's Town Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. If this just cost a little bit less. Let's take a look at that with the Renaissance Replay. Make the right call with over 400,000 shopping discounts right from the Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking app. Might be a little while before I get to the bank. That's an incomplete pass. Let's give it a Renaissance replay. Renaissance Mobile Check Deposit. Make the right call and open an account with Renaissance today. <laughs> 